Happy Valentine's Day today and welcome back to Tanya's art. Welcome. Uh, this is a very special pour today for Valentine. I have also mixed up a, a couple of bright colors. This is a 50 by 50 centimeter canvas and I have made my last, uh, let me see if I can show you, uh, Artisa Art Acrylic Colors and this is Bordeaux Red. I just mixed it up with the Dutch pour consistency, who is uh, very thin, a little bit of bubbles. That is the base, and the colors are Oprah Rose from Winston and Newton, uh, uh, dark orange. I have some silver. I have also have permanent blue violet standard series from Amsterdam. Some uh, liquid gold, liquid tex gold, permanent red violet, and I have also mixed up some permanent red violet in a different kind of color. Uh, I have put some purple in it to make it a little bit darker, so you can uh, compare it with uh, Canacodon magenta and some white. Um, I think I have mentioned everything now except. Let's have some fun with the pour today. Uh, I see some bubbles too. And I'd like to thank you for uh, watching my videos and subscribing also. Welcome to my channel. And also thank you for sticking with me, the one who has already subscribed. And welcome to my channel, all new subscribers. I almost reached 500 subscribers, so thank you so much for, yeah, doing that. So thank you. Let's pour. Let's have some fun. Put the base layer on. I did not paint my canvas on the side because I didn't have enough paint to do it. I need all the paint that I have for my base, but hopefully it's enough. I just, just leave a little bit in my cup for uh, when I need it. Uh, whoo, let's go. Cover my sides. Hopefully I have enough paint. I think I do. I'm going to pour a heart because it's Valentine. And I'm going to do it with my hair dryer. It is difficult when you come in the middle to make a heart shape, but I'm going to do the best that I can. I still see the canvas, and that is a little bit strange, but we will figure that out. Hopefully. That covered very well, and otherwise I have to figure out something because this is maybe a little too little paint. I have enough paint, I see. Let me hope that I can divide it a little bit better. So my canvas is really covered with the paint. Don't want to lose more than that because with the Dutch pour I need a lot of paint also to slide my paint around. So I will do the fix the side but later I have here a push pin because the canvas is not totally level. Okay do it later. Now I have to catch that. All right. I hope I'm still in frame. Yes, you can see it. All right. Wipe my hands a little bit and maybe I put some paint in the middle because I need to have a good layer of paint. 
And I just said I will fix the side later. And what I do, I fix the side. <laughs> oh well. I need some extra base paint on my base. Finish up my cup. And I have to torch it again. Oh no, I didn't torch it. I hope you're doing well. I'm feeling good today. I hope you liked my video from yesterday. I will show you again. It is a really nice pearl pour. I'm very happy with it. And it is a little bit strange, but maybe it's because it was the... I empty my cup. Hopefully it won't show. Something in there. Okay, I will show you the painting that I made yesterday. Sorry. Here it is. I have named it White Sand and Sea. I love the colors. I'm very happy with it, with the pearl cells coming up. And also the colors of the sea are beautiful. Yeah, this is my left side, the right side. It is a big canvas, 80 by 40 centimeters. And I'm very happy with it. And I'm going to take it with me because I'm going to do a show in the Netherlands, it's, uh, it's called a burs or a market for artists. And um, hopefully someone likes it. But for now, and this is the exciting part, because I'm going to pour a, for a shape of a heart. Now, I think I have to do it like this. And when I come here, then maybe I have a problem to get it inside. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but just let get started. And hopefully there's something in it. Yeah, I got it. Hopefully it will work out. All right. Shape of a heart with a cup. Hmm. Maybe I, no, just do it. Perfect, if I say so myself. <laughs> Let's go. The next color, orange. This is a strange combination, but maybe I will put a little bit of silver in between. I'm not sure, but just a feeling that I better can do that. I like to challenge myself with different, different kind of colors. Just to experiment because I like to have, make something different for myself, but also for you. I am a little bit different <laughs> in that kind of uh, techniques. Uh, watch, of course, a lot of videos and different kind of websites on YouTube. Molly Artistry, pouring your heart out. And um, also I have watched Canela Scirocco from Canada. And um, a lot of more, but I don't remember all the names. This is the gold. Looks green, but why is it Liquitex gold? Why is it looking green? Hmm, strange. All right, permanent red. Maybe the wrong label or put the wrong paint in it. I will check that later. And also some lighter permanent red. 
I like to see if I have some gold. The green was a plant. Um, let me see. Sorry. Bronze. No, no bronze. No. I thought I had a whole bottle of gold. But I don't. Oh, here. Oh, it's empty. Alright. Well, it's empty. So, I put a little bit, a little bit more of the silver in it. Um, maybe in the orange. I don't know why it's green. Maybe I took the wrong bottle. And now also, and that is something I don't do normally, a little bit of white. Maybe it helps a little bit with contrast. All right, well, exciting because it is, as I explained, a little earlier difficult to blow the paint when you are here when I am here so hopefully it, 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 it will work out I hope I'm, I'm hopeful for that but <sighs> maybe I'm going to do a little bit of the cell activator in it I don't know why but I want to try it. Maybe I get some beautiful cells. And that's something I like. So, okay. I will put the sound of my uh, hair dryer low. Put a little bit of music uh, for you. And let's hope that what I am going to do works out. Uh, and with works out, I mean that it's, um, ah, I think I'm going to blow that way. That's maybe a good way to start because if I go that way, hmm, I'm not sure if that's going to work. So cross your fingers for me. There we go. <laughs> it was a very good try the colors are really really nice except it was difficult to when something came in to pour uh, the colors back in because the red was going out and I have saved it a little by blowing this side a little bit up and I see I have some amazing cells. The orange is very prominent here. The cells are coming up on this side. And hopefully you can see the shape of the heart. I will get you off of the standard and will show you in a close up. I think you can see much better. 
And when I wait a little bit longer, they will cells will pop up, hopefully, because you can see on this end, beautiful cells, and then the prominent uh, orange. But I think, yeah, I just leave it because I think it's beautiful. I don't want to do anything in this painting. I just want to leave it the way it is. Maybe I'm going to fix it a little. We'll do it together. Did go. Um. I think that's it. Just a little thing. It's a lot of red, but love, the love <laughs> symbolize um, red for the liefde, for the love. So I hope you like it. I hope the shape is still a heart. Not quite, but I think it done the best that I can. I hope you liked the video and I will make a short of it and I post it on my YouTube channel today so you can watch it if you like. So I really appreciate that you are with me today and again thank you for being here. I hope you have a very nice Valentine's Day and um, have a nice day. Alright, see you later. Next pour. Bye bye.